you can make things much more easier and you can do it really fast and remember you should be spending about 15 minutes maximum for this particular activity so let me take a photograph all you got to do is just uh, click on the photograph and drag and drop onto the workspace and uh, let's say they wanted you to crop this uh, so use the crop tool here and make a selection like that and then all you got to do is just press enter right and in this six uh, version you have to click on the move tool as well right and uh, if you want to zoom in control plus zoom in and you can use the hand tool to move it and control minus to zoom out um, then usually they ask you to um, remove certain <coughs> from the picture uh, in that case you shouldn't crop when they say alter you shouldn't crop the image they simply you have to remove the object for example let's say we wanted to remove the ball uh, so what I can do is I can simply um, use the stamp tool the clone stamp tool <laughs> control the brush using the curly brackets left right curly brackets and make sure it's a feather brush okay and then increase size so that it fits the ball and to copy you press alt and then click release alt and press it on just do it several times like that and now we get the leg of the boy also so again alt click and fill okay. control alt is it undo multiple times so it's always better to take pixels you know from nearby areas like here mm. alt click fill, fill. Ah, well. that's because the brush size is too large so reduce the brush size alt click and fill right. that's more than enough right okay now if you're adding a text tool a text message or a label take the text tool select an initial color and don't click and drag instead you just click okay. just click click on the move tool move it to the desired location notice that it has created a separate layer control T press control T to transform with the shift key pressed use the phone handle to increase the size font size so this is the easiest way of uh, increasing the font size rather than just going to font font size press enter uh, now if there's a spelling mistake and if you want to change it simply make sure that you are in the correct layer and click on the text tool uh, and click on the middle of the text to change right okay click on the move tool now to enhance the text what you have to do is just double click on the right corner of the layer and just use a drop shadow click on the middle of the option so that you can change the options here increase the opacity distance and also try a stroke click on the middle and change the color all right so that's more than enough and if you want to change the uh, fill color select color overlay that's the other easy way of changing the font color right so make sure that you use a proper font and uh, usually they ask for sans serif fonts which do not have any you know uh, small parts that come out from the uh, text like in like here right and the best thing is to select any type of area aerial black aerial right? 
right so remember the font is important don't use fancy fonts readable fonts right and if they have asked you to insert uh, a particular title make sure that the title is exactly the same title with the exact case that's very important right uh, if it is a logo remember to use clip parts not a photograph for the uh, picture and add a background background of course you can edit from here or even in word now when you take this to word take a snip of this let's zoom out snipping tool click on new select the area and then just close it without saving because it goes to the clipboard now you go to word and don't forget to put the question number like a with a small title edited image control v and if this is a logo of course you can reduce it further and add a border small border uh, if it is a graphic you can increase it further right and your details should go in the footer make sure the orientation is portrait by default check the size margins you can set it to narrow so that you can get most of the space and in the footer insert footer edit footer oops and uh, don't forget to give your candidate number uh, number and uh, a separator like the pipe sign then uh, candidate name then center number followed by center name those are the, more, uh, the important details you should have in the footer and before that you should have the task number hg1 right ok no need to uh, put the labels candidate number candidate name just uh, enter the details and inside the footer make sure that you have enough space in the margin so that you can make sure that the footer gets printed without any problem Right, and finally you check print preview and then you print okay I hope I addressed uh, all the main parts of uh, AG graphics and remember uh, they usually ask you to insert the graphic and then identify the changes identify the changes required then of course you may have to use the text boxes and arrows that's in word okay and when you identify the changes you shouldn't suggest the changes for example the you can say the picture is too dark and it's not clear the text is not uh, standing out in the background so do not suggest the changes if they ask you to identify the changes identify the things to change identify the areas to change right and sometimes they ask you to identify what you did how you enhance the image so they should go as bullets if they don't ask you to use text boxes or if they don't ask you to identify on the uh, image you can simply use bullets and numbering okay right so remember there can be um, and uh, there can be a writing part in this uh, image editing question uh, which is usually done under the picture that you edit and also remember if you are using logos to use clip parts right sometimes they might ask you to combine two pictures let me take another picture here all you got to do is just uh, drag and drop okay in photoshop cs6 it comes here because i dragged onto the dragged it onto the middle enter now let's say I, uh, they wanted this number five on the ground 
so what I use is uh, since uh, it has kind of the same color I use the magic one tool to click on the yellow area copy get rid of this uh, picture you can even hide this using the eye symbol there and go to the background picture paste control V paste click on the more tool move it control T to transform reduce size place it enter if you want to change the color you know what to do just go to layer styles double click on the right corner and use color overlay simple as that and if you want a drop shadow yes and a stroke All right. so that's how you do the traffic question okay hope you learned something and let's meet in the next one which is uh, spreadsheets